So to hook up your Elgato Wave 3 microphone to your computer, you just need to use the provided USB-C to USB-A cable that comes with it to plug it into your computer. I've already got one set up here, but it's very, very simple. Just plug in the USB-C cable into the back of the microphone. Here's my microphone. And you see the USB jack right here in the back, right back here. Doop, doop, doop. We're gonna use our USB cable and we're gonna put it right in there, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Gonna turn the microphone around to make it easier. Gonna plug it right into that jack and click. And then once you plug it in to your USB cable in your computer or your device, and then you plug it into the back of the microphone, what you will see is that it will light up and you have confirmation that this thing is working right. You can plug this into a USB 3.0 or a USB 2.0 jack, and then uh, it'll work with both. And as you can see, there's a number of controls on the front of the microphone that will activate. And so what you're going to see here is that there's going to be a microphone monitoring, headphone monitoring, and a mix mode and you can choose which one that you're controlling on the front of the microphone as soon as it activates, okay? So once you do that, let's talk about these different modes. When you press the button here on the front of the microphone, when you literally press the volume button, it allows you to adjust the different volumes in the actual microphone and the different levels. So what do I mean by that? So here, when you have the microphone icon, what you do is you can turn it up or down and that will literally adjust the microphone volume of the mic digitally on the mic, which is sick. Then when you click the button again and it goes to the headphone icon, when you adjust the volume up and down, it's going to change how loud the volume is through the headphone jack, which is on the back of the microphone. See the headphone jack right back here? So if you plug in headphones directly into it, that will allow you to uh, change how loud the headphones uh, audio is in your in your in your uh, headphones. Then when you hit it again, here's the cool part: you get to change the mix between how much of your audio you hear versus the audio coming through your computer and the other sources in your computer using this mix button. So if you move it all the way to one side, you're going to hear more of your microphone, and if you go all the way to the other side, you're going to hear more of the audio mix, uh, the, the audio source coming from your computer. And if you put it in the middle then you're gonna hear both in a perfect mix. So you get to mix the audio with a physical knob on the front of the microphone in real time. This is a unique functionality of this microphone that you do not get with other microphones that makes it absolutely special. So that's how you physically mix the audio on this microphone on the actual mic itself. But also there is a mute button right here on the top of the microphone. See it right up here? I like that it's at the top to be honest. You press that uh, mute button and then notice how it turns red. And so your microphone is muted and you get a visual indicator when you press that mute button. That's how you mute the microphone. Those are all of the physical controls on the mic. It's really simple, but it's really powerful. And then if you want to unmute, you just press the button right here at the top. And notice how I just had to like, just tap it. There's no click, right? Just tap and then it unmutes, okay? I really like that versus mute buttons on other microphones, which are super clicky, super loud, and makes it difficult to use the mute and unmute function without uh, basically having a big boom coming through your audio. Cool? So very quickly, mute, unmute, just by tapping a button. Really, really cool stuff. So the design on this microphone, you don't even have to use the software, if you will, to get those functions, all right? So that was how to adjust your microphone volume, how to adjust your headphone volume, how to do your mix, and how to mute the microphone physically on the microphone. That's what we just went over right there. Cool? Awesome, right? All that functionality built in, I really love the fact that that's all built into the actual microphone itself.